Our research deals with landmines. As we speak, landmines and improvised explosive devices are used in Syria, in Iraq, in Afghanistan. Recently, there have been accusations towards the government of Myanmar of using landmines in their operations against the Rohingya. So landmines are still massively uh, affect the lives of millions of people around the world. And our research is perhaps the first effort to quantitatively assess what are the effects of landmine clearance for economic activity. Mozambique is a country that at the end of the civil war and the war of independence in 1992 was a country that was declared by international agencies and by the United Nations as a heavily affected by landmines. And as of October 2015, after humongous effort of the Mozambican people, international aid, the country was declared as landmine free. Our analysis investigates the effect of the removal of landmines on local economic activity and also on the aggregate economy of Mozambique. We find that the local effects of the removal of landmines on economic activity seems to be small to moderate. The removal of landmines tends to have considerable boost on local economic activity when it happens in areas that used to serve as local trade hubs in places that are close to the main railroad and road network. We uncover considerable spillovers from the removal of landmines on economic activity. So when landmines are being cleared in a particular area, other areas that are connected with this area tend to also benefit considerably. And those spillovers tend to be especially large for clearance of landmines that block roads and railroads and key infrastructure. Finally, we conduct some counterfactual policy simulations to assess what would have been the benefits for Mozambique if landmine clearance was not scattered, disorganized and happened in a very ad hoc manner as it happened in the 90s and in the 2000s, but rather it was to take a coordinate manner targeting those areas with considerable economic potential. And we find that actually if clearance was to prioritize those from an infrastructure network standpoint central hubs, then the benefits would have been considerably larger. The lesson that comes from the analysis is that governmental agencies, the United Nations and NGOs should try to prioritize for clearance those places that are central in the infrastructure network sense. Because by doing that, they will enable local communities to unleash their growth potential by trading in goods and services.